Hello, and welcome to another episode of Oracles on High. Hello. It's been a while, and we're really glad to be back. We've actually been missing doing these videos. So um, we actually have a lot of stuff that's coming up in this um, new moon cycle. And a uh, new moon just happened. For those of you who do pay attention to astrology and the moon cycles that are going on right now, we are in the waxing phase of the moon. So the moon is going from small to big, getting to full. So <clears throat> in this last summer, in August, we had a lot of planets in retrograde. Things were a little bit rough for a while. <laughs> they were rough for just about everybody. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and um, so, um, as we transition from summer into fall, we are getting a lot of this transformational energy. Um, as the seasons change, we change with them. And so does all of the planets, alignments, and things that are going on. So as September begins um, this month, the energy um, shifted from a chaotic energy that was there during the summer to a more stable energy and in the upcoming season that we have for um, for us pagans who celebrate Mabon um, that energy is all about abundance that's coming into our world an abundance that's coming into our lives so right now is a really good time to uh, focus on bringing abundance into your life which is really funny did you know that before you picked the oil uh, not Specifically, no. Okay. <laughs> I didn't think about it. <laughs> it's always funny because when we do things like this, um, universal stuff happens while we're going along and time. we smile about it. <laughs> so tonight we are diffusing a couple. We Every time we do a video, we do things for prep work for it. We do a meditation and uh, we diffuse some essential oils. And tonight we were diffusing abundance and joy, and joy yeah. which are both um, young living blends. And uh, they are both amazing and incredible. So um, I highly suggest checking those out. Um, it's great for this new moon energy. It feels really good in here right it now. It feels so, so good. Yeah, yeah, I'm so excited. We did a meditation too, and so. It was all beautiful. Good yeah. stuff flowing right now. Sure do. Yeah. Okay, so um, this month, um, the astrological energy that is going around is to help things become more efficient and more productive and help you to be more on your game. And as Venus moves into Scorpio, for those who want to work on your love life or things with your partner, it is actually a really great time for you to work on love life things. And that started on September 9th. Also, um, Mars was in retrograde all summer long. And now that we're out of that retrograde, Mars has gone direct, um, and it's a very powerful energy right now. So all of the things that were being held back are now going to come with full force for the abundance that is in your life. All those things that seem stuck are about to get unstuck. So that is the astrological updates and forecasts for uh, what's most of September. Um, there are a few things coming on at the end of September, but I figured that I would save those for our next video so we could talk about them in the beginning. So, are, are, we, are we ready? Yeah. Okay, so we are today, uh, we're gonna have some, some delicious flower herb. Yes? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. okay. So, I'm surprised for you. <laughs> okay. It's been under here, I have a peak. Okay. You peaked? No, I haven't. Oh, okay, good. Been good, girl. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for our videos, I got these for the both of us. Ah, cool. So, yeah. I love you. I love you too. That's awesome. So we got um, matching pipes. How appropriate. Yes. I so, it. have a little herb to stick in your pipe. You guys too. Yes, <laughs> have some herb right now with us. This is the perfect time. You have time to pack a bowl with us. And smoke a little bit with us. We're not even all prepared. Nope, we're getting prepared together. Yes. And I hope that you guys are enjoying some delicious weed. This homegrown stuff has been the best homegrown I have just about ever had. It's very delicious and very perfect and 
I can't imagine it being any better than it already is. <laughs> okay. There's something about homegrown that I just oh, love. Yes. Uh, you can't beat it. <laughs> I know. Some people... Especially when haters, they know but... what they're doing and go oh, it right. Yes. It's like... It's magic. It is magic. Really Alright, let's partake in some magic. That's why I need an extra lighter. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Okay, I'm gonna take one more, and then I'm yeah. we'll get rolling on the. I'll match it. On the <laughs> All right, <clears throat> lovely. All right, so as we do our shuffle, we always think about what we want you guys to know and that the universe reaches everybody who needs to hear these messages. So this is all for you guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right. Well, then you're the one with the extra card this week. Nothing popped out of my deck. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. So tonight I am working with the Kyle Gray Keepers of the Light Oracle cards. And I'm working with the Goddess Guidance Oracle cards. Bringing a little goddess love. That is another Doreen Virtue deck. Yes. yes. Um, and I think most people, when they think about Doreen Virtue, what they think about is angels, but she does do some things that are not angels. Um, yes. The goddess deck, I actually saw the other day in the store, there's a big fat tarot deck that she has with the same kind of large cardstock. It's really heavy. And um, that one was actually a tarot deck that was done with fairies. Yeah. 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 It's a... Just quite the eclectic mix of decks, really. She is. Yeah. All right. So I am ready for message reading. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. Uh, you go first. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. Our first card is Mawu, Mother Earth. You are called upon to help with environmentalism. So just off. It's not really going to. Yeah, and it, and it flips the image anyway, so oh. I think a, a quick flip from now on and just to like let them view the card so it doesn't script the focus too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Weird. Okay, so we had a Mother Earth card last reading. Yes. So still very prominent. Um, she is asking for our help, and when we help her, she helps us, so it's all encompassing. Um, I am going to read from the book. Okay. Okay, her message is, there's no greater cause today than giving back to your mother and rekindling a friendship with the soil, air, and water. The earth is the life force for material life, and there's no sense in continuing a downward spiral of dirtying the planet with further pollution. Your contribution is necessary no matter how small, you make a huge different difference in this planet's welfare through small and simple changes in how you operate. It's worth it, believe me, and I will help you accomplish this goal in all ways. Um, I think part of it is too, like uh, with pollution um, in itself, there's so much of it and I know that sometimes I feel like doing little things isn't really making a huge impact and like it's like, well, what is it for? But in the grand scheme of thing, when all of us can do little things, it really does add up. Yeah. And it does help our mother. It you does. Know? Yeah. And furthermore, I think that the, just putting out the energy out there of 
you constantly picking up, um, you know, you exude the energy that you're you're putting out. You know, as, when you really mean it, you're really exuding it, and that reaches and touches other people, even on the metaphysical level. You yeah. know, yeah. Um, so they could be watching you do things, or they could just feel that from mm -hmm. your spirit, and that's how you're energetically passing that along and feeding back into Mother Earth. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And, um, you know, that also goes to our souls a little bit, too. You know, I mean, if you've got stuff that's, like, polluting you, um, it is a good time for you to move those pollutants out and clean up your own internal soulful atmosphere. That was beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. She said what I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was perfect. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. All right. My first card is Mel Melchizedek. So, just a quick show. This is that one. So, Melchizedek. He has something to do with angels. I think he is an angel. I've read this card before. Yeah. Okay. okay. Okay, so he's actually a high priest who's mentioned in the Bible's book of Genesis. So, um, the message of this card is that you have learned so much to this point and are learning more every day. You're recognizing all of the great lessons um, of your experiences and challenge that have been brought to you and are preparing for transition or inner ascension, where you will be moved beyond another level of fear and into the inner sanctum of your heart and soul. Become aware of patterns, ancient symbols, and signs that are being sent to you from the universe. There is a sense that you are now able to focus in a new way and offer a greater light to the world. Melchizedek um, and his order are with you now and leading you towards a spiritual wisdom. Meditate and connect with their inner light. So. Um, I think the biggest things out of this card for me um, are, one, be aware of signs that the universe is giving to you for you to take the right direction. Sometimes I think as human beings we need a little bit of a push and a reassurance from the universe in a very um, tangible yet metaphysical way, where we see a sign and go, yes, yes, thank you for pushing me in that direction, I get it. Um, and so right here when it talks about at the beginning the challenges and experiences that were brought to you in preparing you for transition like we talked about at the very beginning of the video with the astrological shifts that summer was always that was all challenges and things like that and now we're moving into a place of transition for betterment for your life so um that to me is really what this card is all about um and I really like how it does couple with her first card of clean up yourself mm -hmm. and it brings you a point of a, a great transition that's yeah. happening in your life because you can't move on if you've got all the garbage. Yeah. So stewardship for yourself in reconnection with Mother Earth and look for the signs and so you can transition into this amazing thing that's coming up for you right now. Mm -hmm. You're on fire tonight. Thank you. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yes. Ready? I am ready. Go for it. <laughs> All right. So our next one is Sulis, bodies of water. Spend time near water, such as a lake, river, or the ocean to recharge your batteries. So again, keeping in with the Mother Earth aspects, uh, you mm -hmm. know, she is almost all water. So, um, you know, water in itself is super, super cleansing. It's, uh, it can just wash away, like allow it to wash away all your, you know, fears and your worries and everything that, you know, we've been talking about and everything we were going through, through like the summer and all the harsh and yeah. intense energies, you know, go spend some time near water or take a really nice bath or a shower. Um, imagine the water just like washing everything away and yeah. just cleansing and clearing and opening for that you know ascension into your higher self yeah 
I don't even. The butt. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, that's sure? what I got from it. So. Absolutely. I don't feel like I need to read the book. So. Awesome. Yeah. All right. All right. We're gonna flip my next card, and this is Lady Portilla, and it's about divine order. Uh, do what you feel is right. An important lesson is unfolding. So that's the first card. I mean the second one. So, um, Lady Portilla, um, do what you feel is right and an important lesson is unfolding. Um, in the first card, um, we have um, an inner study for further progress. Um, now, once you're getting ready for that process and you're cleaning everything out and you're reconnecting to the earth and to your purpose, you get to a place where this um, lesson is about to unfold in front of your eyes. And so you will be prepared for that and to follow your heart and your intuition so you can do what is right. Um, let's see. There we go. There we go. Um, right now is a call. A call for justice is being brought to you in your space, even if this means that you will lose out. There is really no loss in the highest state of truth. Act from the heart and see the other person's point of view and surrender to your pride that you are coming from a loving space. Um, if you've made choices that weren't for the highest good, admit it. Through this honesty, you're releasing karmic bonds and anchors um, or fear from your energy. Take the time to learn from this situation, and if you are involved um, in any legal issues, the English, the angels of justice are by your side. So <clears throat> that okay. So when you do card readings, especially with the information books, um, you'll notice that in a big paragraph, some of that applies to your reading, and some of it doesn't. That's because readings come out differently. So you're you're going to get those cards, and when they're coupled with other cards. Um, it's kind of the same thing, but the meaning of it slightly changes for the reading it's for who it's directed at. So the way I am interpreting that is that um, in the first card, uh, how it couples with it is that you're moving stuff out. Hi, so I forgot what I was about to say. <laughs> okay, uh, take the time to learn from a situation is what I was yeah. going to say. Learn. So the situation yeah. that you were in and the energy that you're moving out of and then you get back um, to a place, now you're in, not get back, but now you're in a place where you're moving forward. So it's important for you to learn from all of those lessons that you had to suffer through um, this last summer and for the things that have been, that have been going on. Um, and... The choices that it talked about admitting in this particular card reading, I think are really important. And they're not even as important for like, it's not for other people, it's for you. You know, for you to go, hey, I screwed up, or this is how I did this thing wrong, and admit it to yourself. And then it'll release that energy because it's not hanging on to you anymore. It's a clearing, Yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah. taking responsibility. Like, yes. we're all human, we all fuck up, yeah. we do things, probably shouldn't have done, say right. things we probably shouldn't do. Yeah. Don't hold on to it. No. But you got to admit that maybe you could have done differently or right. better, however. Yeah. You know, it, and it's learning from that. Yeah. And I think even admitting that out loud attracts to you the next step. Yeah. You know? For sure. Your turn? I love it. Okay. The third card is half hour receptivity allow yourself to receive this will increase your intuition energy and ability to give to others so that's the card so i think like in this reading it's like allowing all these things allowing the learning to happen the response take re taking responsibility allow these things to happen and allow you know, the universe to send back what you need because you're allowing, you know, these steps to be taken. Yeah. Um, so her message is, you have a maternal side to you that naturally cares for those in need, yet this must be balanced with receptivity or the flow is blocked. 
Receiving is the essence of feminine energy and it means allowing yourself to receive with grace and gratitude. If you feel guilty when, taking, when asking others for help or if you feel bad about receiving gifts, then you block your feminine energy. Your receptivity is just as natural as your nurturing, giving energy. Receptivity allows you to better hear the voices of the angels. When you receive, you have more resources to give to others. Begin by noticing the hundreds of gifts you receive each day, whether it's seeing beauty in nature, witnessing a touching human moment, or being hugged by a loved one. Simply say thank you for each gift and know that you're filling up with your storehouse, keeping the divine flow going strong. Um, I love that. And I think practicing gratitude is super important um, in remembering how, you know, blessed you really are in this life. You know, thankful for a roof over your head. Thankful yeah. for the friends sitting next to you. Thankful for your family. Thankful for it. Insert your thing here. Um, and when you can take time to notice that, it allows more of that to come to you. Yeah. Um, I think that's really cool. I think appreciation brings abundance. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. If you're wallowing in self pity about how you don't have anything, you know, that's the energy you're drawing to. Exactly. And it goes right along because it's talking about, you know, learning the mistakes. Mm hmm. Moving take, on, yeah. things out. Taking responsibility. Yeah, taking responsibility. Yeah. Connecting yeah. back to earth and clearing and cleansing. And that just allows you to be open to receive more. Yeah. Moving on from so many things. all the lessons yes. from right now. For sure. In the summer. And, uh. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. The end of August was really rough for me. It is some weird freaking energy. Yeah. Just weird. But we're moving beyond it. And I hope y'all have been taking care of yourselves because I'm trying to take care of myself. I yeah. Know you are. We yeah. all are. We're all doing the best we can. So. We are. And Give yourself a little grace, too. If you're one of those people who's too hard on yourself to begin with um, and you feel like you're not doing enough because you push yourself too much, don't feel too bad. Like, give yourself a break. Love yourself for a minute. I'm. You're doing the best that you can, even if it's not exceeding your own expectations at this moment. Yeah. Because I'm, a, I'm one of those people who pushes myself really hard. And <clears throat> I'm way harder on myself than I need to be. Um, but that's because I want the best. And I, you know, I and I expect excellence from myself. And anything less, I'm frustrated with. Um, so give yourself a little grace, because you deserve it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Card number three. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Sternos. Um, express your driving passion. Sensual and sexual powers are increased. That's a very interesting one to, like, end up with. But, you know, in the interest of creating something new, you know, fertility is the energy that you're drawing to you. Um, to create something new. And abundance. Abundance. Yeah. I think that's what we're going to call this episode. Abundance. Abundance. I like it. Yes. Okay. Senos. I don't know how to pronounce it. Looks I right. I think you've got it right. Yeah. Serenos. Maybe it's Serenos. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> we'll look it up later. I'll let you know what Jack's next episode, what it's supposed to be. Or. <laughs> or you can let us know. Yeah. <laughs> In the yeah. comments. Help. <laughs> yes. Um, there is a deep building of a life force within you now, and you need to channel it into action. You may have extra energy or be more alert than usual or be aware of a sense of increased sensual or sexual energy. Holy mackerel. In my life right now, I can't even tell you. <laughs> um, if you have been unsure how this ties into your spiritual path, know that it can allow you to access the richness of your soul. And when we are not expressing ourselves sexually, our spiritual pot potential can become tamed or muted. So if um, you are denying yourself a desire, ask yourself how you can fulfill it. Ask Sernos to help you um, access your sexual self so that you can express it with integrity and in a way that honors your soul. 
And if you and your partner are trying for a child in this card feels, uh, appears, this for the fertility is very possible, um, especially if Bridget Serenos' twin um, flame is present in the reading too. So that last part about fertility doesn't directly doesn't really apply to our reading tonight, but the part up um, up further up where um, it talks about increasing the amount of sexual energy and sensual en energy into your life that that is like the fruits and seeds of building something and the desire mm -hmm. to build something you know that sexual energy is the desire so cultivate that desire for the thing that you need and the thing that you want to the best of your ability and a good way to do that is through sex and sex magic so if you have a question about either one of those things we'll leave a comment in the comments and I would be more than happy to get back to you about like how to learn about that and how to manifest things in your life through those things um, more than happy to so uh, let me know so anyways um, yes ending this reading with um, well not quite yet we still have an extra card yeah um, but um, yes and the end process through all the things that you've learned the energy and the space that you've cleared bringing abundance into your life through a sensual way which brings a passion and a desire into your life for the thing that you want and that will essentially very much increase your well-being especially if you're using sex to do it who isn't glowing and happy after sex I mean, I know. Come on. It's the best. <laughs> so um, that is that is bring some happiness and sex and fun yeah. into your life and grow the energy for the thing that you want yeah. if it's your job and a lot of people have been asking about job things lately if it's your job that you're wanting more abundance out of, um, ask yourself how to get that abundance and um, what it is you need to do to get it. Um, so, and allow yourself to have it. Um, that's part of the magic of manifesting is yeah. allow yourself to receptivity, have it. Yeah. Yes, receptivity. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> yes, you have to be receptive to that in yeah. order to receive. And you know, this, with the last card, Mr. Nunez, somebody help us out here. <laughs> um, Tapping it, like, because we have all this Mother Earth energy, like, allowing the Earth to help you tap into your sexuality and sensuality can be so healing and powerful yeah um and i think it just all ties in very very well with yeah. each other um and, and it yeah. was it was pretty balanced too because yeah. she had a bunch of goddess energy and i had a bunch of male energy over here on my side i only had one female in my deck so it mm -hmm. is more overweighing on all in the goddess energy but there was enough male energy god energy in this to um that are teaching us like clarifying things mm -hmm. and I feel like the uh, goddess cards are about like are bringing the energy of healing yourself um, so yeah. that's yeah. how I have seen the reading would you I'll... like to pull the last card? yeah alright okay Mat, and it's fairness this situation will be handled in a fair and just manner well, that's good to know. So, yeah. So, you know, kind of like what the your middle card was talking about with taking, um, you know, responsibility for your actions and, and the things that you've done yeah. um, and learning from them. You know, if you find yourself in a situation with somebody, this I think this is the overall message of knowing that everything's going to work out for the best for everyone involved. Mm -hmm. And it's not up to you to decide how that's going to happen. And in a spiritual sense, it, everything always ends up being fair. Because we're all on our own path. And we're all yeah. trying to do the best we can in most cases. Yeah. I, you know? The other thing that I think is important about that is, like, as where you're working towards what you want and clearing things out, if you're putting in the work and doing the effort, the fair thing like on a universal balance kind of a level is that you're going to be receiving what you're putting into it. If you're going to be lackadaisical and lazy 
and not do anything about it, but just really hope that something falls into your lap. You're being unrealistic and the energy that you're getting back is exactly what you're putting into it. Laziness and nothing. So it's really important to like look at this in a healthy, introspective way and a way that's transformational to your spirit and being to bring exactly what you want out of this situation and show the universe that you want it. That's, yeah, perfect. Because like you're saying, what you put out is what you get back and the universe will treat you fairly. Yes. So, case in point. Yeah. You know, um, I still want to read this. Go for it. Yeah. So, her message is, let me suggest another definition for fairness. It's when all parties involved surrender their personal agendas in favor of the greater good for, in, for the entirety of the group. This requires trust in the wisdom of the whole. When it comes to matters of disputes, the attacks are based on fears that you may not receive your share, yet attacks amplify the hurt and the pain that caused the dispute in the first place. Why not surrender your attachment to a specific outcome and instead direct your holy will toward the re resolution of the argument? Yeah. Hold a firm vision of a peaceful outcome and let the pieces fall into fall into place in a harmonious manner. So that just further yeah uh, touches on what we were just talking about. Yeah. Yeah. That's absolutely perfect. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. What you not amazing put out is what you get back. And I feel like that's been like a, a overall message with all of our readings. It's been very much kind of what you put out is what you get back and, yes. and it's all about kind of personal growth I think yeah. um, and just moving forward and, yeah. and being real with yourself and taking care of yourself yes um, if anybody has any questions about they're not sure how to do this in their own life and they want any kind of spiritual guidance um, put your messages in the comments um, Harmony or I are both willing to help you out. <clears throat> and everybody needs ideas, I think, sometimes to start things off. Or even a direction just to be pushed and pointed. And if that's the least I can do at any time, I am more than happy to do it. Yeah. So uh, we are here to help you and spread the love and change lives in the best way that we can. Even though it's, you know, card readings, you know, on the internet. If this, like, touched you and it made you happy and it changed something inside of you, then we did our jobs yeah. and we are very happy to do it as like healers and spiritual advisors. Yeah. We, we love you guys. Yeah. So um, I hope this message spoke to you and I hope that you got exactly what you needed out of it. And if you need anything, just call. All right, guys. Um, I think that is the end of our episode today. It was great.